All Access Indy, the 500, Speedway Today, presented by Donato's. Every piece is important. And by Chernoff Cosmetic Surgery. Yeah, thanks a lot here with Charlie Clifford. We are less than 24 hours away from the 106th running of the Indy 500. Charlie, you can just already feel the excitement. We know the fans are ready to go, expecting over 300,000 fans on hand for the race coming up on Sunday You've been around the drivers. I've been around the drivers. We know Media Day Friday was a lot of fun as well. It was. Carb Day was crazy. It's been a crazy close to this final couple practice sessions. And it feels like, look, for every fan who's showing up tomorrow, you're back. This is where you, what you've waited for, the 106th edition. We have the stack field up front. We're going to get into it. But I know just walking in, hearing back home again in Indiana, that's going to make everybody goosebumped and teared up on Sunday, AC. Yeah, I'm getting ready for my 23rd Indy 500. It hey, has been, yeah, congrats, a man. long time. It's been a lot of fun covering uh, the greatest spectacle in racing. So let's get down to business. Let's start first with the defending champion, Elio Castro Nevis, trying to make history coming up on Sunday, trying to become the first driver ever to win five Indy 500s. Charlie, he's going to have a tough challenge here. He's starting 27th. Only three other drivers have won from that spot to win the Indy 500. Give me your take on Elio. Let's be honest. It's a tall order. You mentioned the stat starting 27th. I think this is a complete long shot scenario to see Elio win number five. Car felt very, very good in traffic, which you're going to have a lot. So, um, yeah. So we got to have a lot of time to go to the front. We've got to be patient. We've got to put ourselves in good spots. And uh, we feel that the whole team is very synchronized. Uh, which is, that's what we need. So he's saying there is a chance. I love it. <laughs> All right, we'll see what Elio can do on Sunday. By the way, he has nine top five finishes for Elio Castro Neves, which is amazing in itself. Well, the guy that will be on the pole for Sunday's race, you know the name, you know the face. <laughs> Scott Dixon's on the pole for the fifth time of his career. We saw what he was able to do last week during qualifications. A record-setting pole run. He won it all back in 2008. Question for Dixon fans, is there more bad luck coming from the nine machine? He's led in 14 of 19 500s. Scott Dixon, is it finally time for number two? Definitely pumps the team up, but... Um... Yeah, maybe adds a little bit of pressure, which you know, I'm not sure I welcome. Um, and then, the, and then the sheer fact of that, you know, it, it really only guarantees you your starting position. That's about it. So it's going to be a long race, um, and for us, it's just eyes forward and, and focusing on on trying to uh, grab that second uh, Indy 500. Meanwhile, a guy to keep our eye on is Pato Award, one of the young guns out there trying to win his first Indy 500, making his third appearance in the Indy 500. He's going to start in the seventh position. Last season, Pato Award had more points than anyone on Oval, so sneaky. He is very good out here. All right, we'll have to see what happens there with Pato Award, but no doubt he has been fast all month of May. Well, one guy that has been really the, the talk of the Indy 500, uh, a familiar here name. We go. When it comes to NASCAR, seven-time NASCAR champion, uh, Jimmy Johnson, ready for his first Indy 500. I spent some time with him. You can see it. It's like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> he is so thrilled to be here. Yeah. He knows the opportunity coming up for him on Sunday. There is no bigger story. There would be no bigger winner for the motorsport community in North America than a Jimmy Johnson Borg Warner trophy. And he's ready to get it done. What an honor this will be in in um, what an honor it's been and to be in such a magical moment um, I just I don't know what's gonna be like you know I'm just thrilled to be here it's been a wild and amazing couple of weeks and I cannot wait to be standing there on the front stretch here in back home in Indiana we told you there are a lot of drivers making a lot of runs here at the Annapolis 500. One guy in particular, Ed Carpenter, a local fan favorite, gearing up for his 19th trip here to the Indy 500. He's going to start in the fourth position coming up on Sunday. He's confident with his race car, AC. We know in the past, in recent memory, the best Chevys in qualifying have Ed Carpenter been Ed Carpenter racing. But then when the race starts, they disappear quickly. For Carpenter, he has the most laps here without winning a 500. We know the clock's certainly ticking. And how about Wish TV driver analyst Graham Rahal? Boy, last year came so close to winning the Indy 500. Then that nightmare that happened there with his team and his crew. But now Graham gearing up for his 15th Indy 500. He's going to start 21st. Race fans, you just buckle up the first 20 laps of this race. He, Alexander Rossi, Colton Herter, they are going to put on an absolute show moving towards that top 10. 
And for Graham, let's face it, the speed wasn't there in qualifying, but we know once those green flags drop, his car has always been quick here. So there's no doubt it's going to be an electrifying race coming up on Sunday. As a matter of fact, this is the fastest field of 33 in the history of the Indy 500. Time now for picks. I'll start first with you, Charlie. Who are you going with? I'm sticking with Pato Award. I got a feeling it's going to be a Chevy. I think it's his time, AC. So you say Pato Award. I want to go with the guy who's on the pole, Scott there Dixon. I think he wins this year's Indy 500. And how about that? Getting it done from pole and taking everybody in with that checker flag. Yeah. I like Scott Dixon to win the 106th running of the Indy 500. Don't forget, everybody, keep it right here. DeWish TV coming up tomorrow. we got complete daybreak race day coverage for you right here on Channel 8 as we get you ready for the 106th running of the Indy 500.